Friday, we went and saw Magic Mike. Hmm. That movie. There, I had never seen... Man Booty. There's a lot of man booty. I love yeah. man booty. I love the way it just like... You want to... Just cuddle it? Cradle it? Just cradle and like juggle hand. it in your hands? I love man booty. Anyways, but I like... I. Not just a man booty, but I had never seen so many women in one theater. And I think we counted there were a total of eight. There, eight were, total, men. there eight were only yeah. eight men in the theater. And they and were all were like, we're not gay, don't worry. Yeah. They and were then just, in the first five minutes, you see some boobs. And, and Matthew like, McConaughey's like, what the fuck is... I'm like, wait, hold on. He grabbed, the he, third. he grabbed his penis like six times. Yeah. In the first three minutes. It was great. It's like, whoa. But who else was... So it was Channing Tatum. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey, yep. Alex Pettifer, is that anything else? I don't know. Uh, the the first like two are kid. the only ones I know. Um, and then, then Matt Gomer, and then the guy with a giant dong. He had a <laughs> huge Christ. penis, and you you don't see it. You see a shadow of it. You do kind of you, see you, it. You do kind of see it in the penis uh, pump. I was shocked. I was wow, like, we're giving a lot away. Um, this isn't gonna be spoiler free then. We're just, um, they're just gonna have to deal with it. She was, like, freaking out because I she was... doesn't see penis often. Not often. Not that I see penis all the time, but I've seen it enough. Wow, that made me sound like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just shocking because there's a conversation going on in the background and you're trying so hard to because it's concentrate like, on the conversation. It's like blurred out and you're like... But, off focus. But it's so big. <laughs> it's like right here in the screen. It's like right there. It's like, wait, hold on. That's just the tip that's, of the iceberg. That's too. a penis. <laughs> that's, that is a penis. That's that a penis. was a penis. And then when he was standing behind the screen, this is Joe Manganiello. I'm fairly sure that's how you pronounce his name. But I don't like, know. he said it was, <laughs> and he's he's on True Blood. So I mean, that's an HBO show, and they do a lot of stuff on that show. And if he says that it's it's racier than True Blood. Than you see the penis. tip of his penis. Yeah, like the tip of his penis. It may be blurred out, but you, you're you right there. It. You see it. And I swear to God, every girl in that room, like fucking. No, no. Here's the best part of the whole trip to the movies. Okay, so you have to be at least 18 to get into this movie because I'm sure because of the penis. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. What talking about? Okay, so they card you if you don't look old Eight. enough. Eight. I didn't look old enough. I'm almost 21, which I didn't know. Flattering. <laughs> anyway, um, so this cop comes in and he's all like muscly and beefy. Yeah, and I'm like, damn. Like, wait, hold on. Look at those muscles. I want to touch them. I want to caress them. Then I'm like, I'm here to see some strippers. Is this man going to strip for me? Yeah. And not only was I the one who thought that, Everyone every single here. fucking woman in the room thought that and they were like, Excuse me, officer. Are you gonna take off your clothes later? Are you some in-flight entertainment? And then they started taking pictures of him, and he's like, "No pictures. I'm a police officer of the law." But you know what? They shouldn't do that. And that was not fair. That was a teaser. I thought I was gonna get to see some real man muscles and shit, and it was great. And I was so excited because I love strippers. I love male strippers. She does. Love them. I love man booty. I love, I, I love, I love men. Not, not anything against the women. If you're a lesbian, more power to you. Rock on. Love boobs. Boobs are awesome. But you see boobs in the movie. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Um, the, there's a guy sitting behind us. He's like, yeah, boobs. And it was, it was pretty funny. Yeah. He was the guy who yelled he wasn't gay. Yeah. So. But, I mean, the cop, even when he was asking people, you know, could I see your ID and everything, I just couldn't take him seriously. And this girl, she was in the same row as us. She was, like, down at the end of the row. And she was like, are you, are you serious? Do you, do you want to card me? And, and, our and he was only carding the Q people. Yeah, so that was. must mean that he was looking for his next wifey. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. But anyways, it was so funny because in our state, if you have a horizontal license, it means that you're over 21. And if you have a vertical license, it means you're under 21. That's me. That's me. <sighs> well, I don't have my license, but that's another I heard the ID story for another day. Yeah, it's vertical. Anyways, 
And I looked, I, you know, I caught a glimpse of her license and it was horizontal on it. I'm like, dude, she's over 21, what the fuck? But it was just like... Now get her a beer. But he, 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 I just couldn't take him seriously. Like, I think he was shagging out to the laugh. And I think that the movie theater that, that we went to did it on purpose. There's probably one in another, in another theater because they had a double showing. They had, um... Yeah, he points. said he didn't want to go back to the other theater because they were really perverted. So, I heard that. But let's also talk about this creepy old man that was in the theater. Oh yeah, creepy old man. Yeah, okay, so he's like 80, by himself, seeing a movie about male strippers with a bunch of like, old women, cool, whatever, you're by yourself. Don't sit next to the youngest girls in there. He sat next to these girls behind us, they were like, they were younger than me, they were wearing braces. So I'm pretty sure they probably were either eight, maybe 18, they had to be at least eight, 18. Yeah. So this 80 year old man sits next to them and they're like, sir, we're saving the seat. But I think it was obviously because they were freaked out by this old man wanting to sit next to them. Because he sat like right next to him, not no, in He didn't like, skip a seat. No, no, he didn't do movie courtesy seating. Yeah. No. You skip a fucking seat. Yeah. No. Especially he, in a racy movie like that. You don't sit next to somebody no, unless you, you don't know have them. To. Yeah. If you don't know them, you don't sit next to it's them. It's common courtesy. It is common courtesy. Jesus but not only Christ. that, if it's fucking racy, if you're seeing dick, boobs, and ass, you don't want to sit next to an old man if you're 20 years old. That's yeah. weird. Old men are creepy. I have nothing against the elderly. I work with the elderly. They tell me about their diarrhea, and I ring up she their incontinence so. off stuff, and they tell me about their bunions, and I listen. I'm a great listener. And I'm a great talker, but I'm a great listener, but sometimes they're creepy. They're creepy. They, they're creepy. They hit on they me and I think it's because my hair is all crazy and they're like, are trying to get crazy, but they can't get crazy because they're old. They're old as fuck. That sounds rude. But still, but that guy was just like beyond creepy. He was one of those creepy old men that you just like, if you're in the same aisle in them, as, you know, as them in, like, a grocery store. They usually fart, like, first of all. That's nasty. That's <laughs> really gross. How do they not know they're gonna fart? How do you not know? You know. You can feel it brewing in your intestines. You can feel your butthole getting ready to release the Kraken. And <laughs> here they are. They just must not... You must... Do you lose feeling in your butthole after a certain age? Somebody tell me. So, what if you answer that question for me? Yeah, anyone in the comment... If, if you want to comment about this... Comment down yeah. there. Yeah, down, down there. Hand. It's gotta be down there. my hand. Anyway. How did this turn into a rant about old people? I do love old people. We were talking about the old guy in the theater. I do love old people. I yeah. love them. I love all people. I'm I'm that type of person. I love people. If they cry, I cry. Because I'm, first of all, I'm a crybaby. Second of all, I'm an emotional wreck. But that's not the point of this post. What the point is, is if you haven't seen Magic Mike yet, you need to go see it. If you're a female, that it's you don't become a woman even if you've had sex and you're going through menopause you're not a woman yet until you see the male strippers doing their little king of the jungle dance, shit dance. and shaking their butts and Channing Tatum doing this like he does yeah. and you see his ass just shaking Sh jiggling and, and it's ass jiggling if you can't do that don't talk to me because let's face it I love a good these, these are the qualities I love in a man. A nice ass. A beard. Intelligence. Not, because I don't want to sound very vain. Funny, if you can't make me laugh, then get the hell out. There's the door. GTFO. Not that anybody wants, I don't have any boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have any boyfriends at all. Because people usually aren't interested in dating me because I'm weird. But that's... Save that shit for e harmony. Yeah, that's that's for another day. But still, um, I wouldn't say like the premise of the whole movie itself. Just go for the man boo. Yeah, just go for the man boo. Go for the strippers. I mean, it's it's entertaining just for that. The ending um, sucks. Yeah, I was like, wait, it's over. Like, they, I, it's so abrupt. You know yeah, I mean? it's like black credits. It's like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck happens? Because they just leave you hanging, and it's like, what the hell. And then you might be angry with some of the people at the end of the movie, some of the actors that were in the movie. But I mean, that you know, like I was wasn't angry movie. because I saw their their butts and their, oh, yeah. their abs, and 
they they there worked so out. Much, there was so much man booty. All right. Well, we gotta end. I want to eat ice cream off their man booty. That's how nice it is. Except I'm sure it would melt because your body temperature is pretty warm for ice cream. But that's science. You can't control so science. So you can just lick it off their buns. Well, you can't control science, but let's let's but, not let's not start a debate. Yeah. Anyway, so to you guys later.